It's 2024 and Japan tourism is in full swing. And while it's great to see everyone flooding back into Japan and experiencing everything this country has to offer, it also has created the unintended side effect of over tourism, causing some of Japan's tourist hotspots to become extremely packed and really detracting from what is supposed to be a magical and unique experience. And with Tokyo being one of the most famous cities in the world to visit, you better believe that this city's tourist hotspots can make you really feel like you are crammed next to other people like a can of sardines. But don't worry because today I'm going to share the 10 best hidden things to do in Tokyo in 2024. In this list, you'll find locations that are a perfect mix between a unique experience you can only find in Japan while keeping you out of all those packed crowds and long lines. All right, let's get this list started so you can get one step closer to exploring all the great things Tokyo has to offer that are hiding in plain sight. If you are overwhelmed with the endless things to do for planning your upcoming trip to Japan, well, I have just the solution for you. And that solution is my new business, Hidden Japan Journeys. After years of living in Japan, I have gained a wealth of knowledge about how to easily get around and help plan your trip as efficiently as possible. If you're interested, contact me at my business email right here or check out my website in the description below. Number 10, Omotesando Chachanoma. Located in the back streets of Harajuku, Omotesando Chachanoma is a fantastic place to visit if you want to enjoy authentic Japanese tea tasting. As as soon as you enter, you'll be greeted by the tea house's very friendly staff, confirming that you are in for an amazing experience. After selecting your flavor, they will come back with a tray, which showcases all the different flights of that tea you have to look forward to. The first flight comes out as a concentrated variant, which is rich in flavor, and something that is meant to be enjoyed in small sips. The next flight comes out in a chilled wine glass, where you can sample the tea in an iced state. The third flight comes out as a standard cup of tea, which is warm and rich and is meant to be enjoyed slowly. And in the fourth and final flight, you can enjoy a lighter and more diluted version while taking in the peaceful atmosphere. No matter which flight is your favorite, you can complement any of your drinks with their fantastic selection of matcha-infused sweets to help complete your stay here. Omotesando Chachanoma is a hidden cafe in Harajuku, home to some of the best tea you'll have in Tokyo. Number nine, Cafe Alia. Looking for an excellent breakfast spot in Tokyo that the common tourist will never know about? Look no further, as Cafe Alia is the answer to all your problems. Located in the side streets of Shinjuku, Cafe Alia is home to some of the best French toast you'll ever have the privilege of enjoying. And you can forget about the fluffy pancakes Tokyo is famous for, because this French toast is not only delicious, but it is also known for its fluffiness too, giving you the perfect reason to ditch those fluffy pancakes. Not only is the cafe's French toast amazing, but the restaurant itself is very stylish stylish and trendy. The cups for their tea, coffee, and other drinks are refined and make you feel like you're in an upscale or fancy cafe. Here you can enjoy your stylish tea or coffee with your fluffy French toast, which is complemented by many different types of delicious fruit spreads or syrups. Cafe Alia is one of the best hidden breakfast spots in Tokyo and is a must visit if you're looking for an unforgettable breakfast. Number 8, Yorozu Chaya. You'll find this cool and hidden dessert shop tucked away in the back street of Asakusa. Before you can even enter, you have to ring the doorbell to be let inside, which already separates it from the typical store and immediately adds a level of curiosity to find out what lies beyond this door. But once you're finally allowed in this secretive spot, you are instantly exposed to an experience that you would never expect from Tokyo. Instead of seeing the typical cafe interior you'd expect, you're instead introduced to a magical setting where each table is surrounded by an amazing arrangement of floral decorations in a vibrant, colorful setting. This is all accompanied by pretty much every soundtrack from Disney's most famous movies being played throughout the shop. The familiar tunes complete the magical setting and makes you feel like you have been teleported away from Tokyo and into a completely different world. You can choose from some truly stunning parfaits that are absolutely unmatched. Like other fruit parlors I have covered in the past, this shop proudly boasts it only makes its treats with quality ingredients and fruits. In fact, the the owner of the shop described each piece of fruit on the parfait and pointed out the white strawberries have been voted number one throughout all of Japan. And when we finally took our first bites, we were absolutely blown away and quickly realized why these fruits were voted number one. The award-winning berries had such an impossibly sweet and flavorful sensation. It really made you wonder if they injected these things with sugar or other secret ingredients. But rest assured, these award-winning strawberries are all natural. And as for the white strawberries, 
these were surprisingly meaty in texture, but had a very sweet and interesting mix between peach and strawberry as the owner described. And this parfait was so good, we just had to sample another one. Between the magical atmosphere, unmatched parfaits, and highest quality of friendly service, Yorozu Chaya absolutely blew us away and is a must visit for everyone the next time you visit Tokyo. Number seven, Cafe Reisu. Now this is one of the coolest spots you'll find in Harajuku and on this list. At this cafe, not only can you enjoy your favorite coffee or tea, but you can enjoy it with your favorite actors or anime characters looking back at you. At Cafe Reisu, while you might think this level of detail and craftsmanship can only be achieved by using special 2D or 3D machine printing art, it is actually done with incredible skill by their coffee baristas, who are extremely talented. Once you are seated, you can begin this fun experience by selecting your drink of choice. Once you've made your drink of choice, it's now time to choose your character art. And this is the best part. All you need to do is take a picture or screenshot of the art you want on your coffee, and then you can just show your waiter a photo of the character you want portrayed. They will take this information back to their artists, and in only a few minutes, you'll get your drink back with a nearly identical replica of the picture you requested. And while you can do the same process with 3D style drinks as well, your options will be slightly more limited, as it can be understandably more difficult to recreate the picture on a 3D platform. Whichever style you choose, once you get your drink, you will also be given a calling card of sorts, as these artists usually have their own Instagram. And of course, while the pictures are visually stunning, the lattes are a treat to the senses as well, with a perfect blend of sweetness from the milk and sugar and the nice caffeine punch you'd expect from a bold roasted coffee. This impressive and unique cafe is hiding in plain sight and is a must visit the next time you come to Harajuku. Number six, Shin Okubo Kankoku Yokucho. Like other Yokuchos, this spot offers a wide variety of great Korean restaurants to dine at or enjoy a drink with your friends. But what sets this interesting little Yokucho apart from the others is what the second floor brings to the table. Head up this stairwell and you'll find a dedicated darts bar, complete with several karaoke rooms should you decide to sing the night away with your friends. Not only that, but this Yokucho is open well into the night, giving the perfect spot to enjoy your evening with your friends and some drinks and party until the first train comes back around. Shin Okobo Kankoku Yokucho is a perfect spot to enjoy some evening festivities and get away from the common tourist spots the next time you're in Tokyo. Number five, Sunshine City Observatory Tenbo Park. Tenbo Park is the newest addition to the already iconic Sunshine City Mall. Sunshine City Mall is one of Tokyo's iconic malls in its own right, being home to many famous shops like the Pokemon Center and the world's largest gachapon store. But once you're tired from checking out all the shops this mall has to offer, you can head over to the newest edition of Sunshine City, Tenbo Park. In order to find this park, all you need to do is look for the signs and arrows for the Sky restaurants, find the elevator, which is essentially in the center of this mall, and then take the elevator up to the 60th floor. Once upstairs, all you need to do is pay just a small fee and now you're in one of Tokyo's newest and most unique observatories. After walking around all those bright and loud stores, you'll find the serene and peaceful park a welcome change of pace. The floor is lined with artificial grass hills that almost make you feel like you're in an actual indoor park. And if you come during the evening, you'll be met with an astounding view of Tokyo's skyline at night, giving you the perfect mini retreat to unwind after a long day of wandering around Tokyo. The true icing on the cake about Tenbo Park is the fact that no common tourist will know about this area. Unlike Shibuya Sky, which is always reserved and fully booked for in a month in advance at night, Tenbo Park is usually never that packed and is a perfect spot to observe Tokyo skyline in the evening with your significant other or your family. Tenbo Park is one of the best and newest observatories that are hidden from the common tourist and is a must visit the next time you're in Tokyo. Number four, Shibuya's Forest Library. Similarly to Tenbo Park, Shibuya's Forest Library is the perfect spot that is hiding in plain sight if you just need to get away and recharge a little bit after exploring Tokyo all day. Located on the eighth floor of this building, which you'll find right next to a train station entrance, you'll think that you went to the wrong location as you see just a plain wooden door with no discernible markings. However, the fun really begins when you ring on the doorbell as you are greeted to the friendly staff and ushered into this mysterious room. Once 
Once you fully enter the room, however, curiosity turns into excitement as you walk into one of the coziest and welcoming library hideaways. The room is absolutely packed with books, giving you an endless amount of choices to sample and read from as you take your break from all the exploring you've been doing in Tokyo. The place also offers several different types of pleasant drinks and snacks, making sure you fully enjoy your time here. You can stay in here as long as you'd like, reading, resting, and recharging until you're ready to head back out into the bustling and busy streets of Tokyo. Shibuya's Forest Library is a fantastic getaway from the packed streets of Tokyo and is a perfect spot to relax in the next time you visit this great city. Number three, oh my dot. This unique ramen spot, which is located right off one of the main streets of Shibuya, is surprisingly empty, especially when you consider all the fun secrets it holds inside. This ramen spot isn't your typical shop where an automated robot takes the place of what would normally be a person serving up your ramen. And similarly to how your ramen is prepared, ordering your ramen is all electronic as well. All you need to do is start off by selecting which flavors of ramen you want, where you can pick up the three different ingredients to make up your base flavor. The next step is choosing the type of noodles you want, choosing from up to three different styles based on your preference. Lastly, just pick the toppings you want to come with your automated ramen and that's it. Once you have paid, the robot will begin its magic, assembling your meal with precision and efficiency. And once you finally get to digging into your meal, you'll realize that the flavor is just as impressive as the assembly. The broth is perfectly balanced and the toppings are fresh and round out the meal just right. Best of all, this place is pretty cheap and even though it appears to be just a small portion, it gets you surprisingly full. Number two, Urasando Garden. If you want to experience some of Japan's most famous sweets and desserts in one convenient location, then you have to look no further than Urasando Garden hidden away in Harajuku. As I have mentioned in previous videos, a yokucho is a type of hideaway in Japan that houses dozens of small restaurants and bars in one compact building. Well, if you apply the same concept but swap out all the restaurants and bars with famous Japan sweet cafes, then what you get is Urasando Garden. Inside, you'll find several different sweet shops to choose from, all with their own unique specialty to enjoy. One of the notable stores is Mikan Club, where you can choose from delicious Japanese treats like their chewy and satisfying dango. But as if the dango was not good enough, the signature dish at Mikan Club is their roasted teardrop cake, a roasted soybean treat that is amazingly delicious, pleasing to the eye, and a unique dessert you will rarely find in Japan. When you're finally done taking pictures and you're ready to eat it, crush the teardrop up, mix it in with the soybean powder, and enjoy. But Mikan Club isn't the only reason why this place has made it to the top of this list. Right next to Mikan Club is another great spot that caught our eye. Here, you can choose what type of flavoring you want on your cake, and then you can watch them elegantly prepare it right in front of your eyes. And these two shops are just a sample of many other sweets you can experience at Urasando Garden. If you want to experience Japan's many sweets in one convenient location, then Urasando Garden is a spot you cannot miss the next time you're in Harajuku. Number one, Zao Shinjuku. Hidden on the less traveled west side of Shinjuku Station, Zao Shinjuku is a unique restaurant in Tokyo where you can get the freshest fish that's served straight from the water and into your plate. And believe me, it doesn't get any fresher than this because in order to get your dinner, you have to be your own fisherman and catch your own fish. As you enter Zao Shinjuku, you immediately know you're in for quite an adventure. As a massive boat filled with dining tables sits floating in the middle of a pool full of fish. Once you get to your table and order your drinks, it's now time to get to fishing for your meal. Head down the stairs to disembark your boat and then grab one of the fishing poles that line the entrance to the fishing area. From here, choose from the many different areas in the tank and pick out your favorite fish of choice. Then here comes the fun part. Put some bait on your pole, cast it out into the water, and in a matter of minutes, you'll have a fish on the hook out of the water and as your trophy. For the final step, all you need to do is tell the staff how you would like your fish prepared. You can have it prepared as fresh cuts of sashimi sushi pieces, have the fish sauteed in butter and garlic, or many other different types of flavors or styles to pick from. And when the meal finally comes out ready to eat, your taste buds will enjoy some of the freshest fish you've ever had and savor the amazing flavor from the restaurant's great cooking and preparation. This place is perfect whether you have kids, want to have a really fun dinner with a big group, or just want to feel like your own successful fisherman. Zao Shinjuku is an exceptional 
exciting hidden restaurant from the common tourist and is a must visit the next time you're in Tokyo. Like this video if you found it useful. Contact me at my business email if you want some help planning your trip to Japan. Subscribe for more Japan content and check out my affiliate links for when you plan your next trip to Japan. All right, that's gonna do it. And until next time, I'll see you then.